Let me just do another scan here. I have a feeling it's a decorative one. Like one carved out of wood or something. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, there should be croco gators for sure. Why not? Uh yeah, my frequent I do get a bunch of frequent flyer miles for sure. I'm not even seeing it. That's a crocodile? Seriously? That's a crocodile. Wow. Uh, no, I fly for those business trips. Family shield. Okay. Who needs the family shield? We can put that there and see if that opens up. I'm not sure what you mean by pink mud. I don't know what you mean by that. The huntings are getting more intense. Am I being hunted? Ooh. The glass looks extremely fragile. A sharp sound could break it. This is quite clearly a dragon fly. I think that's gonna go here. Come on, books. Crocodilian? Yeah, maybe. We have a small painting. It looks like we're missing a book, though. Well, I know where the painting goes. Let's go and put that here. Before I forget. Rearrange the pictures to make a continuous pattern. Okay. Apparently that is a continuous pattern. You don't like the marionette over here? Ooh, it's dancing! The marionette is dancing! Can I touch it? I want to touch it. I could use this chair if it wasn't so shaky. Okay. Thought I saw... Ah, oh, it simply won't budge. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, what's with these dolls here? Weird. Yeah, this is kind of creepy too. The eye is... Look at that. The eye is following me. Ah. This doll is dancing. Dancing. <laughs> uh, I lost track of what I'm supposed to be doing here. I don't think I can do that yet. Cotton scarf, scalpel. I feel like I should be able to cut something. Let's go back to the ballroom, I suppose. I have been to Edmonton, actually. I've been to Alberta, I've been to Edmonton, I have been to Lloyd Minster. Those are kind of the three areas that I've been to in Alberta. I need to, uh, at some point I'm going to be going to Fort, Fort, uh, Fort McMurray. Uh, hmm. Not sure what I'm supposed to be cutting here. Kill the puppet with fire. Aw, poor puppet. Wood glue and a family shield. Hmm. Uh. Oh, I've been to Blue Mountain as well. I was there skiing just this past winter. Have you ever, Crystal, have you ever gone in the winter time or the summer time? So I'm not entirely sure what you want me to do here, game. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. Apparently this is a thing. Okay. He is near now. Freaky. Ah, uh, what are we doing here? This is weird. It's a screw. Up, down, what are the correct positions? We could totally brute force that. 
It looked like this angel statue moved. I don't think I like the idea that it moved. Alright, thanks Felicity for stopping by. We'll definitely see you next time. Uh, what do we gotta do next here? Uh, I wanna go to the mirror room. The creepy mirror room. So, I need to figure out how I'm gonna... Uh, we have to raise it? How am I supposed to raise it? I have nothing to... Yeah, the puppet wants to put on a puppet shoe. the chair? Sorry, I would have thought you'd need to use a nail and a hammer. I think somebody mentioned that in chat. I can't see you. I'm thinking it's dark. No. Oh, I boy. I want to go into the light. Please. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So first people turn into ghosts, then they start to disappear, but I still don't understand what the dark room is, and why is this puppet dancing? Why are you dancing, puppet? Crazy. Got myself a little bit of this, and we need to put something delicious like an apple. It's a puppet! I got puppet number two! We're gonna totally put on a puppet show extraordinaire. Yeah. Well, apparently I'm supposed to be here. Curtain crank. Oh, uh, I think that will go here. Let's put the puppets in and see what they do. They're gonna do some dancing. We were weakened by the dark room's influence. Powerless to leave town. In this half dream, Ansel and I went through countless books of occult knowledge to find a way out of our predicament. We created an amulet that repels Mr. Nightingale, the Eye. We hid it in a tunnel and sent a letter to Josie inviting her back. So we have lavender out of that puppet show. Okay. I'm not exactly sure why I need lavender. Feels a little random to me. Now, let's see. Where can I put the lavender screw? No, nope, that doesn't need to go there. Even with three paws, the lion still looks intimidating. This is all I have for inventory here, so... Hmm. Yeah, I want to know who Nightingale is, too. Uh... All I have is the scalpel, cotton scarf, a drawing, a screw, and lavender. Hmm. Where were there mosquitoes, though? <laughs> I don't remember some mosquitoes. Let's have a look at our map here. Oh, you don't think ghosts like lavender? Uh... Picture. No. Still not sure what you want me to do here, game. Apparently, I've got to do something over here. A sharp sound could break this. What? I thought you we need a tuning fork for this. Oh, the handle here. Got it. We're going to use our fingertips, apparently, to screw that in there. No problem. We got this. We'll go back here and give this to our suit of armor. And now I have a lion paw. One single lion paw.
Oh no. <laughs> I don't like these kind of puzzles. Um, let's see here. I think first order of business is get them kind of like this. Put that there, and that there. Yay! After tonight, I can write a new novel called Beyond the Mantelpiece. If I include half of what's happening here. Another secret room. Another secret room. Ooh, look at these angry skulls. Angry. This looks more like a dungeon than a secret room. The Prophecy of the Nightingale. Dr. Tuttle did not believe. He thought it was just a pea. The Nightingale sent some lightning, and the scene was rather frightening. Then everyone believed, and our plan was conceived. We renounced all trepidation and embraced salvation. It's a cool poem. There's a mark in one of the skulls, as if it used to wear a crown. Of course there is. Whoa! I have to block the steam, but it could burn quite badly? I thought that said bum. It could bum quite badly. Am I reading that right? What is that word right here? It could bum quite badly. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> what is it doing? It makes no sense. It says it could bum quite badly. <laughs> I don't think that's a good thing. Are you sure? It looks like bomb to me. Ooh, looks like we can put our lavender here. Okay, metal card, sure, sure. Well, let's see, what else do we want to do? Put a bunch of stuff in here. Burn your bomb? Yeah, that'll work too. <laughs> It looks like burn... I don't know. It looks like bum to me. I could be wrong, of course. It's a herbicide. Those are the best kind of sides. A herbicide. There we are. There, we didn't get our bum burned or something. Wow, Greg Olson really indulged in his childish fantasies when he made this house. I don't know if it's childish, but definitely... Oh, I see, I gotta get three of those. Alright, well, we have our um, missing book. So let's go put our missing book back. Arrange them to make some sort of diagram. Ah. Uh, I'm not even sure what shape this is supposed to be. Huh. This must go here. What exactly? Is this supposed to be a hand, maybe? Oh, it's like pointing. Look at that. It is a hand. pointing finger. So what... Did we have actual plants we needed to kill? I don't recall that. Burn the bum? Well, we're gonna keep on talking about that for now, are we? Hey, it's not my fault. That's kind of what it looked like to me. What in the world do I need to do in here? Slingshot. I need some ammunition? No. <laughs> oh boy. God, noisy doors. Apparently I can be in here now. Oh, the drawing? Oh. Alright. Let's do this. Whoa, piano. What have you been hiding? 
Oh, and there's where we gotta use our herbicide. Oh, no. Tuning fork. The plants are very strong. I have to find a more indirect approach. We have to find out where... Oh, no. Go ahead and use that herbicide. Ooh, dragonfly, we needed you. It must be a beautiful peacock decoration, but I'll have to restore it first. Oh yeah, that's this thing over here. All right, we got a couple things to do here. Tuning fork, go. Tail feathers, all right, dragonfly, go. And it's clicky clicky time. Usually I am a gentleman's adornment, but sometimes I can turn into a true rabbit's home. Oh, it's puzzly. There are many roads that lead to me, but only one outcome. Death, apparently. I work tirelessly even when you sleep. Time? No, a candle. And I don't have to open my mouth for you to see my set of teeth. Uh, many seek solace at the bottom. Oh, a glass, a chalice, okay. I am sometimes called a window, though I have no wooden shutters. Sometimes I am called a window. Wouldn't that be a book, maybe? Oh, it's an eye. Oh, okay. I never thought of that as a window. My journey begins in the calloused hands of a craftsman and ends on the proud head of a noble. Is that supposed to be a crown or something? Yep. The eyes are the window to the soul. Alright, fair enough. Oh, hi, Lily. Welcome to the live stream. Now, one of those skulls that... Where was it? I remember one of the skulls had a spot for a crown. Whoa. Oh, and we've got our... Wait, who's there? What? The walls are closing in. Alright, let's do this. Arrange the plates so that all the symbols are in the matching pairs and next to the correct symbol along the border. Okay, so let's go ahead and take care of this outer edge here first. And can I rotate them? To go. They sit upon the throne. Does the poem refer to May or Mr. Nightingale together? One log, saved from oblivion, was carved into a doll for Vivian, but from it came a deadly whisper sway. So May conspired to snatch it away. Now they sit upon the throne, watching a kingdom of their own. So, Peacock, you're going to go ahead and take care of that business, and then you're going to go here. And we got this, and this. May, I've locked Josie in the attic. She won't be a nuisance until the time comes. What? What? You locked the child in the attic? Mr. Nightingale away. I'm glad. What was with that puppet? The puppet was a ghost? What? He was always such a troublemaker. I'm glad May made him go away. She should have never listened to his lies. Mr. Ansel isn't feeling too good. He told me he can't protect me anymore. Nowhere in this town is safe. Uh oh. 
An earthquake. I hope she got to safety. <laughs> what? That was crazy. I don't even know what that puppet was doing. But uh, it was angry. And scary. And maybe it was possessed. I don't know. But you know what, folks? We're at the two-hour mark, so it's time for us to take a quick break. I'm going to go get myself a fresh cup of coffee and a little bit of a snack for the rest of you folks. Stick around. we still got at least half a game, maybe. I don't know. We're going to go ahead and play until the very end, of course. But uh, stretch your legs. Take a little moment to walk around your house or your backyard or whatever. And we'll be back in about uh, five minutes. <laughs> 